Okay, here's a series on finishing singles uh, from your feet. We're gonna start in on a single in perfect position here where uh, I like I like shooting with my attack hand on top, so my right hand's gonna be on top. My hands are gonna be locked, and my knee is gonna be facing in the direction I'm trying to drive. So when I'm, when I'm in on the single here, I'm not driving straight, I'm not standing straight up. I'm actually driving directly into them. So my left knee is pointed into them, my head position it is good, and the point of my head position is to keep the weight off of me. So I have my head almost on the side of his ribs here. I don't want my head in front because when he starts to lean over, all that pressure is going to be on my head. So I'm trying to keep my head in position uh, to keep his weight off of me. From here, I simply just drive into him and basically go up to my stance. So I drive into him right here. All right, my, my, my single positioning is basically the same as my stance. You know, a, a little bit different maybe, but I have my lead, lead foot forward. I'm kind of nice and low here, my head's up. So once I get to, once I get to my feet here, that's the position. I still keep my head position in a way to keep his weight off of me. I like my right hand deep. I can even go joint to joint, so the crease of my elbow, the back of his knee here, and I'm pulling his knee in, into my chest. So I don't want his knee, I don't want his knee out like this. I'm pulling, my lock is on the knee with the knee pulling into my, into my chest, all right? From here, the first thing I do is walk into him. So I take one step in, my left hand slides down to the heel, and I just lift it up in, into my arm. I'll show that, I'll show that a couple times here. So I have my single, I step forward, grab the heel, lift it up. One more, start here. I have good position, I step forward, lift it up. Stepping forward is gonna, is gonna take the weight off of the leg you're holding. If I'm holding this leg and I, and I step back, he leans, he leans in. So I'm driving into him to get the weight off of that leg so it's easier to lift it up to my armpit and it's the same when I'm on the back here. When I drive forward, it's easier to get the leg off the back. So I'll go once all the way through. I drive in, step. I'm trying to get the laces in my arm. Once I get the single up into my armpit, there's a few options to finish. And I'm gonna try to keep my momentum going into him so I don't have to pause and then finish. I'm gonna keep it continuous and go straight through. So the single, I have it up here. The finish I'm gonna do first is simply push him down. So once I get it up, I'm just gonna push him down. Now, if I pause and he starts to square up and face me here, I'm not gonna be able to just push him down to the mat. I have to use the momentum as I drive up. He's a little off balance and I just kind of push him to finish the shot. I'll show you what that will look like. So I start here, I drive in here, up here, and I just push him and cover. So I start in on the single, I drive in, step, lift, push him down, and cover. One more on that. In my single, I drive in, step, lift, push him down, cover. Keep that, keep in mind when, when, you're, when you're trying to finish, the better position you're in as you drive through these steps, the easier it is to get to that finish. Once you get to your feet, if you're barely standing up and he, he stops you completely, he's driving in even, it's gonna be very, very hard to finish there. So now we're just gonna focus on once you get the, the leg up into your armpit here. I like to do, uh, I call it Pledge of Legions. I'm taking my hand all the way underneath and up to my chest here. The first finish is pushing. A lot of times guys will hold on to your head. So once you get up, they'll hold on to your head like this, right? They're grabbing your head, grabbing your elbow. I'm gonna make a little C. I'm gonna go right above his tricep. And it's the same, it's the same push, except I'm gonna circle hip to hip. So I'm gonna push him off and rough circle hip to hip. From here I can cover double or sweep and finish. So I have a single here, I'm, I'm walking into him, he, he attacks my head, 
I push it off, I go hip to hip, cover backside double, or sweep and finish there. The next finish we're gonna do here is, is gonna be uh, an uppercut with a foot sweep. So I'm not gonna be actually you know, taking the knuckles to his face here, but I'm, I'm swinging my right arm and doing like an uppercut to bend his knee a little bit more. Right here, if I go to sweep, that leg's a little far away. But when I uppercut, I can get his knee bent so that I can get a little closer to that leg. All right, so that's the motion. Uppercut, step, step, like this. Now, I'm not, I'm not gonna swing back like, like crazy and this starts to get ridiculous. I'm just, hands right here, it goes up, straight up, step, in. Now, I'm gonna add the foot sweep. And I don't have to swoop, foot sweep super hard, especially when I'm first, uh, Get the hang of it, I just uppercut, I step, and then my right foot steps behind his heel. I'm just tripping up like that. I don't need to sweep super hard or anything, especially when you're first trying to get the hang of this. So it's here, uppercut, step, step behind it. And a lot of times people are gonna be hopping in that position, and that's when you get, get a feel for timing it and really getting a good, nice sweep out of it. So I'm here. Maybe he's hopping a bit, so I'm going into it. Here, there, finish. Right, I'll do that a couple times. Move on to the next one. Single here, drive in, lift, walk again, here. Sweep and finish. That was not the case at all. I think we got it anyway. Yes, I'll do it one more time, I'll do it here. So here, last time on this, uppercut, step, turn to go up. Go to the right shoulder. Last time on this one, it's going to be uppercut, step, and sweep. So uppercut, step, sweep. Finish it on top. This, this technique is going to be um, another way to finish when your opponent is turning away from you just a little bit. Or he's turning away from you. Uh, maybe, maybe that leg straight can't quite reach that sweep. Um, I'm just going to take my forearm and put it against the outside of his knee. I'm not trying to smash his knee and, and, and blow his knee out here. I'm really just placing my hand, my, either my hand or my forearm here, so that he can't turn to face me. And then I'm going to run my hip to his hip. So I'm blocking here. Or I'm placing my hand here, and I just run my hip and connect my hips towards his hip here. From here, it's always the same. Foot sweep or left backside down. It's the same exact motion as the one where he's attacking my head. So when he's attacking my head, it's not. I can't. It's not really just pushing. It's running my hip to his hip. So it's really the hip connecting there. We go back. It's the exact same motion when I uh, take my forearm. The outside of his knee. That's so my hit. Then I put. Then I put sweep and finish. Sometimes uh, you'll be in a match situation where these finishes are maybe not working because you're allowing the guy to recover too fast and he's defending pretty good. And that's when you could go to some of these other finishes that will show uh, next. Um, the first one's just going to be, I have, I have this single up in the air, maybe he's really flexible or he's tall, I'm going to simply get the, short, get the leg from my armpit to my shoulder. So I'm going to do this similar uppercut here, but I'm going to dip my shoulder even more. So I dip my shoulder and then I'm swinging this left arm underneath and I like to do like a half on my own head so that I, I don't lose this. You could just hook this, but if you see here, if his heel is in, in, in like this, called like a, I call it lock here in, if it's on the crease of my elbow, that's gonna get very, very heavy. So if I do this technique, I wanna get it up high enough so it's on my shoulder here. From here, I can do the same type of finishes. I push him down, if he attacks my head, I swing, go hip to hip, and I can maybe do this uppercut and, and sweep. So, the exact same finishes from that position as the ones we did earlier. It's just getting him to be in a little bit more of a, a stretched out position. Again. 
So another option here for when your partner is starting to square up with you. So he squares up and he's facing me. And maybe he's even pushing me away here. I can't write, I can't get to his leg. I'm not really able to grab his head. I'm having a hard time finishing. Uh, you're gonna do a, a golf swing. So I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take his, his leg and I'm gonna grab a hold of it with, with my hands around his ankle. Now this one's kind of a little bit of a fun one and, it, and it's definitely, a, there is a wrist aspect to letting go of this control here. So once I do switch to this type of grip, it's a little hard to hold. So I'm gonna go down, I'm a righty, so you might have to do it different if you're lefty. I go down to the right, and I'm gonna swing up like that. A lot of times, um, people just kind of whip this like too fast, so like, it's not gonna work. You gotta get the timing so that I almost want to do a, to do a, uh, a hop backwards with that right foot. So I go here, there's the hop, and then it's up. And, and we'll do it again here, and we'll stand on feet even more, but you'll see, right here, ready? I go down, and then up, like that. And if people are very, very flexible, their leg might go you know, straight up in the air. So I might hit this technique, and I can all the way up like this, and he's still fine. From there, that's when I would add a foot speed to make sure I can still finish the score. All right, here's two finishes that kind of go together. A lot of people teach grabbing this hip and pulling him to the mat. So this could be another finish from when a guy squares up with me maybe, is I grab this hip and I'm pulling him down. But again, it's not really, a lot of times, it's not really what your hand's doing as much as it is what the rest of your body's doing. So yeah, I'm gonna hold this hip, but I'm circling around him and pulling him down. A finish I like a little bit more than that one is gonna be the same type of motion, except I'm gonna attack his head. So instead of a hip here, I'm gonna grab his head, I'm gonna pull his head to his knee, and do the exact same motion where I'm circling out, of, out front, pulling his head right there. I'll show that one uh, one more time here. I have the single, he's facing me, maybe he's even pushing me away. I attack his head, pull it to his knee, circle, and a lot of these finishes, you can add the foot sweep. So when I pull his head down, as I'm circling, I can add that foot sweep. Sometimes just pulling the head may not be enough. Sometimes just pulling the head may not be enough. So it's really your ability to um, combine the finishes or, or have a series of finishes where, let's say I go into them, I'm trying to foot sweep, it's not working. I'll show you how this can kind of play out. So let's say I, I go uppercut, I'm trying to go foot sweep, and he's pushing me away here. I can't get that foot sweep, I transition the back of his head, pull him down, circle, there and finish. So you need to be able to, once you get the hang of each move individually, or the moves that you like, you're gonna learn to, to use them together and to know, you know what, when do I drive in and sweep, when do I pull his head down, and it's really gonna be based on, on their positioning from these finishes. One more fun, uh, fun finish, I never really hit this in match, I hit practice sometimes, a little fun, but it's gonna be uh, a cradle from that single up in the air. So, I have this single way up in the air, I'm gonna duck my head underneath the back of his leg, so I'm gonna go underneath like this, and then I'm gonna step through and go cradle. So I'm here, my head goes underneath, I step through, and I'm locking up this cradle, taking him down to the back for the pen. So right here I'm going single up in the air. It's a cradle, it's a cradle finish. My head goes underneath here. My left hand swings to the back of his head, trying to get my elbow joint to, to his neck. Lock up the cradle, pull him down, and get the pin. Yeah, yeah. Um, here's a couple finishes just from um, here's a couple finishes from the single before I get it into my armpit. I'm just driving up here, so I have my hands locked. I'm drive. I've got my leg in good position, my head in good position. I drive into him, and I have his leg in between mine here. 
Ideally, I'd like to get it up in my armpit. Let's say maybe I can't quite do that. The first option I have is I can sit him to his butt. So I'm gonna circle out front. I'm gonna basically hike his leg in between my legs and I like smashing my head into where his pocket is. So my head position is here. When I step, I smash my head down under his leg and then I shelf and finish. Don't forget to shelf. That's one of the most important parts because a lot of times you're not gonna finish from this position. You're just gonna get them off balance. So if I'm wrestling somebody very good, when I get in here, when I, when I step around and sit and pops, there's my shelf, and now I can go into my finish. So I drive to my feet, I can sit him. If he goes down, I shelf it. If he doesn't go down, I shelf it and finish on my feet. One more I like to do from this position is gonna be tripping that back leg. So I drive up and in, I simply, when, I, when I'm stepping in like I would to shelf up in my armpit, I just step behind the heel. Again, I'm always shelving it from these, from these finishes. If I don't, then what will happen is a lot of times the guy will slip out or I go to cover and he finds his way back into the match. So I have my single, I drive in, I'm in good position here. I step my left foot in, my right foot behind his heel. That, in that case, this is realistic about how it's gonna happen. He's usually not gonna go out and use it. Hands posted. I grab the heel the same way I do before. I shelf it up, and now he's already kind of now. I can circle behind him and finish. I'll show you what they might look like with uh, mass-like speed. I'll get in there, and we'll just kind of play it out. So I'll get my single, drive up here, here, lift, sweep. Single, drive up, sitting up, not working, lifting. Okay. I'll go one more, I'll play it out. Go here. Finish here. That was part one of single finishes from your feet. There's a lot more, but that's really the basics, and you don't need to know much more than that to, to get to the top level. Um, it's very important, though, that you get a feel for finishing the single up, up in the air based on their reaction. Some guys are gonna drive in, some guys are gonna try to kick out last second. So you really need to get a lot of reps and find out where you feel most comfortable once you get that single up in the air.